Hello and welcome. This movie will show you how you can connect your multi-fiber tool to your Android device or computer. Uh, the multi-fiber tool is a battery-free little USB casing where you can put an XFP or an SFP inside and on the other side hook that with your USB cable to an Android device or a PC or an Apple Mac. There are three ways of connecting it. Uh, first one is uh, with a Windows computer. Uh, you need a Vista or upwards Firefox and a recent version of Java. For the Apple, uh, you need also Firefox and a recent version of Java. And for the Android, you can just go to the Play Store and you need a USB on the go. Then you can go to mft.solid-optics.com and you will get this website. You can log in here and if you want to make connection uh, with the multi-fiber tool, you need to allow Java. You will get a pop-up with a little red uh, button here in Firefox. You have to click on allow and this is only one time. You will get this screen here. You have to say allow and remember, allow and remember twice. So, and in that case, Java will start. It will pop up our certificate of Java, which you can see here. Just check this one, click on run, and then you will get a security warning once again. Just check this once and click on allow, and then you're good to go. What you will see then, if you plug in an SFP, for example, and you click on read, you will see the description, the serial, and everything, and also all the branch where you can recode to. For Android, just click on Play Store, search for Solid Optics in the Play Store. If your phone has OTG, uh, you will uh, see the Solid Optics uh, pop up here with the apps. Uh, click on open, also just fill in your username and password and click on the left top corner to get into the menu, for example, to change the brand, the whole fix and so on. I've got some considerations. Uh, we've got uh, the um, multi-fiber tool on the market for a while and we are getting some feedbacks back. And uh, there are some things you have to know. Not all Android devices will support OTG uh, and uh, the app. Uh, we've been trying to making a list which are, uh, which Android devices will do and won't do, but there isn't a consistent list which we can make. We are testing it here in our lab with 10 different uh, phones. Uh, we, you need a recent phone with at least 4.4, but also lower versions will do. Uh, there's just too many phones around there with too many versions of Android to, to say uh, if it will work or won't work. The best thing is just to connect it. Uh, another thing that you have to know, it will only, uh, you can only use it with solid optics transceivers. So if you want to write an optic, you can only do that with solid optics transceivers. Older, so really old solid optics transceivers are not supported. Uh, so if, uh, if you have an optic which is four or five years old, uh, we cannot support this. Uh, we notice that the MacBook Air needs the power on. Uh, in other cases, we have that as well, that uh, it simply doesn't give sufficient power to the USB B port and then the optic doesn't boot up. Uh, the OTDR functionality is another package. Please contact your sales representative for that. HP 10 gig cannot be coded. The H3C form, so the JD optic can. Uh, if you want to code, you have to have an uh, internet connection. It has to do with the fact that a lot of these codes are algorithms and our server knows how that algorithm works. Uh, there is a QSP version for the coding stick as well. Uh, and due to iPhone iOS restriction, there won't be an iPhone app shortly. We're looking into it, but it doesn't look good. And the last one, and which is a really important one, uh, the coding database and the software are continuously improved. Uh, there are so many variations, so many brands, and so many optics that uh, it's a constant uh, adding of codings and of optics to this. And the same goes for the software. We're constantly improving the software. And if you find any uh, bugs or uh, you have some uh, ideas for the software, please contact us. Uh, we are happy to work together with you to get that uh, into our software. Thank you very much.